Good morning. I was thinking about what to share around the table. And uh, in our reading this week, Beth and I have been uh, listening on, on tape of a, of a story about Joseph. And then I was thinking about my granddaughter, how she always comes and tells us, but why, but why? And then I was thinking about that song that we sing farther along, We'll Understand Why. And there's uh, so many things in our lives that we, will, uh, we do not understand and, and we will know, but not at this time. It'll be farther along. Uh, in the story of Joseph, he was one of the 12 sons of Jacob, the sons of Israel. And uh, he was sent on ahead because there was a famine in, in their land and he went on ahead to Egypt and uh, just didn't know really why his brothers did what they did, but it was God's will. And in this story, it's in the, it's in the book of Genesis, starting in uh, uh, chapter 50, verse 15. And this is where Jesus reassures his brothers. When Joseph's brothers saw that their father was dead, they said, what if Joseph holds a grudge against us and pays us back for all the wrongs we did to him? So they sent word to Joseph saying, your father left these instructions before he died. This is what you are to say to Joseph. I ask you to forgive your brothers the sins and the wrongs they committed in treating you so badly. Now please forgive the sins of the servants of the God of your father. When their message came to him, Joseph wept. His brothers then came and threw themselves down before him. We are your slaves, they said. But Joseph said to them, Don't be afraid. Am I in the place of God? You intended to harm me, but God intended it for good, to accomplish what is now being done, the saving of many lives. Would you go to Father in prayer with me? Thinking the song that Spencer picked out before the, the table here, the, the love and the sorrow that flowed mingled down, the, the blood of Christ, the thorn as crowns that he was put on his head. And I think of what went on with Joseph being, heard his brothers talking about killing him and then throwing him into a well and being sold into slavery and all the turmoil that he went through and yet he was exalted in the end by God to raise up the nation of Israel. And as we go through our struggles in life and we, we see the sorrows that we're going through and the pain that we're suffering, but yet what Christ has done for us that we must always go back to the what is it that he's done that we owe our life, our souls, everything to him. Let's go to our Father in prayer. 